Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I rise this morning along with a group of my colleagues who will be here to talk about the importance of addressing health care reform to help small businesses. And Senator Landrieu has, is leading this effort, and she's going to be coordinating the speakers this morning. Before I begin, I just want to thank Senator Rockefeller for his eloquent comments about Senator Byrd. Um, my family lived in West Virginia for about 30 years and truly appreciated the difference that Senator Byrd made for the state. And I'm very honored to be able to serve with him even for a very brief time. So uh, thank you very much, Senator Rockefeller, for those comments. Mr. President, as the former owner and manager of a small retail business, I know very personally what it's like to worry about meeting the payroll, about whether you can pay for the inventory to keep your business going, about complying with the myriad of regulations that you have to comply with. And as a former governor, I certainly understand that it is business and not government that creates jobs and drives new ideas and innovation. But I also know that government has a vital role to play in addressing the challenges that businesses and small businesses face, especially in these very difficult economic times. And one of those challenges that small businesses are struggling with is the high cost of health care. In New Hampshire between 2002 and 2006, small businesses paid 42 percent more in premiums for health insurance for their employees. And for our smallest businesses, those with fewer than 10 employees, the increase was almost double that, a 71 percent increase in the cost of premiums. So what does that mean for the small businesses and their employees who want health care? It means that small business Small businesses have to make the tough decisions to either drop coverage for their workers or to increase the employee contributions, often to the point where their workers can't afford coverage. Everywhere I go in New Hampshire, I hear from small business owners who tell me about these tough decisions that they face. I heard this concern from Adria Bagshaw who testified this summer at a Small Business Committee field hearing that Senator Snow and I did in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Adria and her husband Aaron own the W.H. Bagshaw Company, a fifth-generation family manufacturing company in Nashua, New Hampshire. They offer health insurance to their 18 employees and cover a portion of the monthly premium for them. But with those premiums at $1,100 per month per family, they spent more on health insurance for the first half of this year than they spent on the raw materials they need to make their products at their manufacturing company. So understandably, Adria worries that they're going to need to cut back on the quality of health insurance plans they offer their employees or the amount that the company covers to help pay for those premiums. I've also heard from people like Chick Colony, who's a small business owner in Harrisville, New Hampshire. He has a, a wonderful weaving company that has been in Harrisville for generations. And he emailed me saying, and I quote, the cost of health insurance is the biggest problem that our small business faces. They have 24 employees. He went on to say that the present system is expensive, inefficient, and broken. I can't tell you how the 20 to 35 percent annual rate increases depress us all, and there's no end in sight. Over the past five years, most of our employees have had to drop coverage because they simply can't afford to pay their share of the premium. I really believe that the time has come to put the existing system out of its misery. Certainly, we hope we can do that. I've also heard from Kevin. Boyarski, who's an owner of a small printing company in Concord. He told me health insurance premiums, again, I'm quoting, health insurance premiums have gone up 30 percent last year and 22 percent the year before. It's now a very big item in our company's budget. 
We want to grow and be competitive, but the high costs make it hard. From a small business perspective, I can't attract employees without good coverage, but if I hire you now, I'll only be able to offer 50% of the individual plan. It's all I can afford, and it isn't very attractive to employees. Well, Mr. President, small businesses in New Hampshire and across the country are burdened by high premiums for health insurance. In fact, statistics show us that small businesses pay on average 18% more than large plans for the same insurance policy. And for small businesses that don't offer their employees health insurance, they cite the high cost of premiums as the reason why. We need comprehensive health reform to help these small businesses. The small business owners I've spoken with want to offer insurance to their employees, both because they believe that it's not only the right thing to do, but it's critical to being competitive, to recruiting and retaining good employees. But as they so often tell me, the high cost of insurance stands in their way. Health reform is critical to these folks, and we can help them by passing comprehensive insurance reforms that rein in health care premiums so that it stabilizes costs and provide tax credits to small businesses to help them afford the cost of health insurance. I believe we must take these measures to help level the playing field for small businesses and to make insurance premiums more affordable. Small businesses are the backbone of our economy. That's where most of the jobs in this country are created. We've got to control health care costs to relieve the financial burden so that so many of these small businesses in New Hampshire and across the country no longer have to face the choice of whether they can keep health insurance or hire employees. I urge all of my colleagues to work together so that we can pass comprehensive health reform legislation. We need to pass it, and we need to pass it soon. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I yield the floor.